The eyes of the football gods are on this 752,614 square kilometer southern African country called Zambia. It is the first time in over two decades that the most powerful man in world football, the FIFA president, has made a visit to this country. Before kicking off his official programs, Gian Infantino paid a KTS Kwon President Haga in the Hilemat State House where the former tipped FIFA on dialogue. It is important that we realize that differences will arise all the time. Inside a particular team, in a league, with governments, with other stakeholders, it is inevitable, Mr. President. What am I saying? The message is that we in this country believe that football must take the lead in dialogue when there are challenges that arise. As part of the body's mandate, supporting football development remains key on the Federation's agenda. FIFA is happy with the growth of the beautiful game, especially women's football. Uh, your future is definitely bright. Uh, we will invest now in, a, in an academy, in a training center to bring really the best talents, the best coaches with the best talents, make them shine more, but scout the whole country in all the 10 provinces to make sure that uh, everyone, everyone, everyone has a chance. After the State House meeting, Infatino would go on to launch the accommodation center, which is expected to help reduce spending on national teams' accommodation. Infantino also visited the Heroes Acres where he interacted with family members of the 1993 Gabon disaster victims. The many times that this team has given so much joy and happiness to the people of Zambia and indeed to the people of Africa and indeed to everyone who loves football around the world. I mentioned it a few times since I came here Yesterday, I still remember the 1988 victory of uh, Zambia against Italy in the Olympic Games. For the families, the last 31 years have not been easy ones. It has not been an easy journey to look after us after losing our beloved heroes, who were breadwinners and sole providers, who left children at a tender age. Some are even 31 years, which is a productive age in Zambia. Family members came up, as I earlier said, on the foundation because of the basis of looking at the welfare of the surviving family and as an empowerment tool, and mostly to uplift the hero's acre by maintaining the Carbonia disaster legacy, making it to, it to look like an heritage site. Government has outlined its plans to preserve the great memories on this site where Zambia's fallen heroes lie. As the family is also doing their, their work, the president has directed that we will soon upgrade this site to a mausoleum because of the significance it touches to this very site. Infantino's two-day visit to Zambia comes to an end on Thursday evening, and as he returns to the headquarters, he has one task to undertake, market Zambia to the global world, a request made by President Hijilema. Nchimnyangandu, Diamond Sports.